So then the main event is Roman Reigns and Finn Balor, and they went 20 minutes. And throughout the show, like in virtually every match, the fans are chanting, we want tables, we want tables, we want tables. Well, they finally so got the him. first, ha- well, the first half of this match, they're chanting, we want tables. Oh, yeah. And so Roman, Roman Reigns will re- not give them tables. Well, that actually, actually, I thought that was very clever. And, well, it was I mean, clever, but my God, it's extreme rules. It's now been two hours and 40 minutes. We haven't got a table yet. And finally, they bring yeah, but, the damn but, table but, out. But, but, but that's... That was part of the thing for Roman to get booed, and they did do it later. So I didn't have any. That's fine, issues but like that. if you're doing a TLC show, and you're doing your ladder match, and you're doing your TLC match or whatever, and you do a tables match, and Roman wants to do his psychology to not give you the table, that's fine. But again, these fans bought tickets uh, two months ago or whatever for a show called Extreme Rules, and like they've had nothing for two hours and forty minutes. And they're not getting the tables for half of this match right here. They like, got them. Give the people something here. They got them. They got them. Yeah, they, they built. They built to. They built to it. I don't think there's anything wrong with building to something. I, uh, you want to. You want to give up? And you're going to do it in the first two minutes. Then what do you do? Yeah, then you know you what you should have done the first two minutes. In the first two minutes, Finn Balor, the babyface, should have got a damn table, and the place would have gone crazy for him getting a table because they've been asking for the table all damn night. And then what do you do for the next 18 minutes? After well, I don't know, but I mean, you you minutes? killed this poor guy at the end, so give the poor guy something. Well, he did. He did drop kick Roman Reigns through a table. And he drop kicked him through the table. So and you, you you got that. It happened. They you brawled know, in the crowd. And, yeah, Roman uh, Reigns putting his mask on when they brawled in the crowd. Yeah, I mean, they, look, they worked. They worked hard. They had a good match, and then it just turned into like a little circus at the end, and. Some people like it, and some people didn't. And well, let's tell them about the circus. So Finn Balor hits the double foot stomp, and the Usos yank him out of the ring. Finn Balor takes them both out, but then he gets speared through the barricade by Roman. So everyone's down, everyone's dead. Suddenly, the heartbeat of Finn's music starts to play. He starts flopping on the ground like a fish, and then it's, the red so, light so, turns on. So, so he got like heart um whatever it's called right his his heart was um what defibrillated or whatever <laughs> i think he was just flopping around but he well, leaps he was, to his feet as well, the red was, lights he, turn on well i thought from listening to the commentary that they said that he was dead and he was coming back to life well they did definitely say that he had been resurrected so apparently yes. he had been dead so he was dead and he was so so, so he's like jerry lawler so he comes back to life here and the place is all excited, and they start playing his music. So he's he's the demon New Jack, and he's running wild with all these gimmicks on Roman Reigns. He's hitting him with chairs while his music is playing. And finally, he goes up to the top to do that big coup de grace and win this match. And the top rope breaks, and this poor guy falls, and he stumbles into the ring, and he stands up, and he gets speared and pinned. And I was like, wow. And again, as you noted, if this were a setup for like an Extreme Rules match or something, that'd be one thing. But instead, this guy gets pinned and they immediately start talking, up next for Roman Reigns, Brock Lesnar. But we all knew that going in. I'm like, wow, this poor guy, what a geek. But we all knew that going in. We I know knew, that, but I mean, come we on. Knew, we all knew he was the setup guy to give Roman well, Reigns Well, we knew that because they advertised it. Yeah, but I mean, for you. the love of God, if this were real and you're in UFC and you're about to win the title, but the cage breaks, and, yeah. and then all of a sudden they're like, oh, well, coming up next is another challenger. Yeah, I know. They don't even it's like, like me. It's like, dude, this guy deserves a rematch. He probably has a, a legal case. A legal case against the people who set the ring up, right? Yeah, it's an unsafe working environment. Yeah. I the first time I ever saw this. Okay, so so this is like an offshoot of um, a finish, and it's been done before. But I I think that the the first time it was done um, that I know of was was like early seventies. Dory Funk Jr. Tim Woods in Atlanta when Tim Woods was like Mister Wrestling, and he was like unbeatable. And how is Dory Funk Jr. going to retain the title against this unbeatable guy, this wrestler who can pin anyone at any time? You know, they built him up to be this this guy at this level and so they went like 48 minutes and the ring breaks and tim woods is injured and he can can't continue and that's what they don't come back and do a spear and all that stuff because it's like 
he was, you know, they sold it like the ring broke and he's injured and he can't continue. And that was what they did to build the rematch, you know, where, you know, you're not going to, the ring's not going to snap twice in the same lifetime. It's like getting hit with lightning. But, you know, when you do that and then you just come back and then just continue it like it's a normal thing, then it's just like, ah, it's just a gimmick. I mean, and granted, when they did it in today with today's fans, it's going to be just a gimmick anyway. So it was just a gimmick, and it's just a, you know, whatever. Um, I thought it was, it was a way to do something, but I, um, I felt at the end, like again, like you're feeling when the match is over. Um, as far as were you satisfied? Did it did the climax climax you? And my thought was, this these guys work very hard, and the climax did not climax me. It was kind of like, ah, that's what they did. And, you know, two straight, both main events, that's what they did. So it was like, at best, I'm going to say that, you know, you could say it's a bad show. Um, I thought the wrestling was good enough that I'll, you know, I would, would not go that far. But I could not say, I absolutely could not say it was a good show. Hey, if you're a big fan of Wrestling Observer Radio... We got 12,000 episodes of all of our podcasts up at our website, WrestlingObserver.com. If you sign up today, you get access to every single one of them. The 12 to 18 new shows that we do every single week. You can podcast them, listen to them on the road, at work, working out, in the shower, wherever you listen to your podcasts. And also full access to the Wrestling Observer newsletter and archives. So if you love what you hear, head to WrestlingObserver.com. 12,000 Audio shows at your fingertips.